more than one president. It takes more than one president. Hey, the level of reason. It can't happen if somebody who writes on that table. The next first lady of the United States, States of America. Every year, the dispatch tries to come up with a list of the of the most important stories of the year, the stories that had the most impact in Central Ohio. We've had over 680,000 customers out because of the devastating storm that came through. On the Friday. big weather story of the year was a huge monster storm that came through Central Ohio in June. We later learned that it was called the derecho. It is a long-lasting line of thunderstorms and high winds and it hit Ohio in parts north of Ohio, parts south of Ohio, and parts east of Ohio. It took weeks and in some cases months for everything to get back to normal. In what is a kind of economic story, gambling finally came to Central Ohio in a legalized form. After years of efforts to have casinos legalized, uh, there were two forms of it that came to Central Ohio this year. One was the Scioto Downs Racino, as it's called, which opened this summer. And the second was the Hollywood Casino on the west side, which opened in October. It's a $400 million building and has already drawn thousands of visitors. In any year, Ohio State football is a big story in Central Ohio. This year, the team went 12-0 under a new coach, Urban Meyer. And people, certainly in Columbus, would argue that it was one of the best teams in the country and should be fighting for a national championship. Although this year it's not eligible, so we just have to say that to ourselves. In education, a big story this year was uncovered by dispatch reporters who found that Columbus schools officials, in some cases, had been unenrolling students and then re-enrolling them. The point was to avoid, again in some cases, low test scores that those students had earned. The dispatch discovered it was going on in Columbus, but it could be going on in other parts of the state. That sparked a widespread investigation and led in part to Columbus Superintendent Jean Harris announcing her retirement earlier than expected. Hello Columbus! The top story of the year was the one that put Ohio and Central Ohio and Columbus at the center of the universe and that was the 2012 presidential election. I guarantee you we will move this country forward. We will finish what we started. I need your work. I need your help. I need your vote. Anyone who Walk lived in Central me. Ohio saw hours and hours worth of television ads, saw the national media here, saw the international media here, all reporting on the effort to woo Ohioans to vote for President Barack Obama or for Governor Mitt Romney. I got 99 pounds, but me ain't one. Both of the we candidates were here any we number of times. The vice presidential candidates were here any number of times, uh, sometimes snarling traffic and making it difficult to park where you wanted to park. The other secondary race that was here, but also had national significance, was the senatorial election, which put incumbent Senator Sherrod Brown against uh, Ohio State Treasurer Josh Mandel. Uh, millions of dollars of outside money poured into Ohio trying to influence Ohio voters, mostly criticizing the other candidate, and in the end, Sherrod Brown won out. We spent much of the year in the national spotlight, but we also spent much of the year celebrating because 2012 was Columbus's bicentennial. And through that celebration, we learned something that we've always known, that even without the national spotlight, Columbus is a great place to live. <laughs>